Yeah, and welcome back to the squad. We missed you last month. How's the injury coming along? Yeah, it's all right. I've uh, last time I pulled out with a, a groin problem, but you know, thankfully the the few days rest over the break was able to to settle it down, and um, everything's everything's gone fine now. We've seen you doing brilliantly at club level. Leeds United obviously has plenty of Irish history there. How much of an influence is that when you're at the club? Yeah, it's big. You know, you meet fans every day, and they talk about you know the Irish players that have been involved in the years, and you know, hopefully, I can can contribute to some success there, and and you know, add myself to that list of names. When squad announcements are coming up, your name is always in them these days. Do you feel established as a squad member currently? Uh, I wouldn't say that. It's still, you know, I, I have been involved in in you know virtually every squad. I think for maybe the last eighteen months to two years. So. Um, when they're coming up, I half expect to go away, but you know you're never sure that, that you are going to be. You know we have a lot of talented players here, and you know I never take for granted that I'm. You know I'm just going to be in. When you get your first call up, you'll obviously be quite nervous and wanting to impress. How is it different than 18 months on? You're still obviously trying to impress each time, but what's the different dynamic? Um, I think the, the the nervousness thing at the start is obviously coming in and potentially not knowing many people. Obviously, maybe not having worked with the manager before, and you know you're coming to a, a completely new environment. Like you say, obviously when you come in, every time you want to impress, but you know it gets a little bit easier every time. Faces become more familiar. It becomes you know a, a more natural environment, and you know that, that I think that's the difference. The style you're playing at club level under Christensen. It's very technical football. The championship will be associated with being fast-paced, helter skelter. Does that suit you when you come into international football? Then? Yeah, I think coming into international football, I think at times you get a little bit more time on the ball, which is, you know, can only benefit people you know that want to have it and, and can handle it. And you know, I, I'd like to think that the, the more time that I'm given, the better I can be. So, you know, I do enjoy coming in. I, I hope to impress again this time. We've two big games coming up on the road to Russia. What would your World Cup memories be growing up watching Ireland? Um, Robbie, I think, scoring a goal against Germany, where he wheels off and, and you know does his, his quite famous celebration, is you know the, the standout memory for me when it comes to, to World Cups. With the two games, first up Moldova, followed by Wales. Just how big are these games, and what does it mean to be involved in it? Um, they're huge, you know. Obviously, obviously we have a huge game on Friday night against Moldova, and we have to, you know, pick up the right result in that one first before we start to concentrate on Wales. But to be involved is great, you know. As a player, this is the the kind of environment you want to be in, you know, at, at international level when there's something on the line to play for. So, you know, it's a it's a very tense atmosphere, or, or will become very tense the longer the week goes on. But as a player, it's it's the conditions you want to be under, and, and you know, hopefully we can thrive in them. How is it different when you go into a game, you say each game is the same, treat it and prepare the same, but when the stakes are so high, does it come into your mentality at all that you know it is a must win? Yeah, of course. I, you know, I think it's it's Roy says it all the time. You know, we go into every game to win, but you know, like you say, there's a little bit added pressure to this, knowing, knowing that if we don't, then that's potentially you know the the dream over. Um, but you know you can't let that affect you. You have to just get on with the job that you're there to do. And you know, like I say, we, we try to win every game, so you you have to do your best just to treat it as normal. Coming up first, obviously we've got Moldova at home, a must win. How important will the home crowd be? Massive. Um, you know, I, there's there's been nights in the Aviva where the crowd have you know dragged us over the line. You know, it's, it's one that stands out for me is when Longy scored. Uh, in the Euros qualification against Germany, you know the, the atmosphere that night was unbelievable. You know it's one of the best I've ever I've ever witnessed, and you know we'll need to need them to recreate something like that again to, to help us along the way. You were involved against Moldova the last time. What type of threat will they pose? Um, I think they I think the biggest threat that that they'll bring is that they have nothing to lose. You know they come into the game if they lose, it, it's not really seen as too big a deal for them, but. Sometimes when you go up against an opponent that have nothing to lose, it's it's the worst kind to go up against because they, you know, there's nothing on the line for them. So they, they will bring a threat. You know, they'll, they'll I imagine they'll do everything they can to win the game, and you know it'll be up to, to us to carry a, a professional job to to get the win.